This is the latest airbrush from Badger in the Renegade lineup. This is the uh, Renegade Velocity Jet. It's the same as the original Velocity, but it's got a, a slightly smaller paint cup. Probably more useful for if you're doing uh, illustration work or smaller projects. It's got the same 0.21mm paint tip, same trigger mechanism, and the same needle limiter at the back of the handle. You can adjust how, how much uh, travel you want on the trigger. So let's have a look and see how easy it is to strip down. First of all, we uh, remove the handle, and this reveals the needle chucking nut. You can see the end of the needle there. So we'll press down on the trigger, just make sure nothing's obstructing the needle, and we'll pull the needle straight out of the back. Next we remove the nut. This will then allow us to take off the, uh, the spring tensioner. Unscrew that all the way out. This reveals the spring itself. And now we can remove the spring guide. This has the rocker arm actually pinned to the guide so it doesn't drop off and it makes it easier to reassemble as well. And next we just pull the trigger straight up and it's out. There's nothing to the trigger, there's a small dimple on the bottom which just engages with the air valve in the body. Now we move, move around to the uh, front of the airbrush. Take off the nozzle cap with the two horns. Now you can see the nozzle protruding there. Next off we remove the nozzle seating ring. When you replace that just make sure you get the right way around. It will only go one way. And there you can see the nozzle itself which simply pulls out from the body. There are no threads in this, it just sits in a cone so you can't go wrong. And that is it as far as stripping down. You shouldn't need to go any further than this. That's as easy as it is. Very, very simple. Right, now we've stripped everything off, I'm going to put everything back together again. So to start off with, reinsert the nozzle. Just make sure again that it doesn't drop out. Right, nozzle seating ring now. Just be careful not to get anything cross-threaded. This just does up uh, finger tight. Don't use any tools or anything on this. There's no need to go uh, to go overboard. Next, we've got the nozzle cap, and that's it. That's the front section done. Now we'll move back round to the back. Insert the trigger. Just make sure that it's sitting on the air valve. Now we're going to insert the uh, trigger rocker lever just make sure it goes into the slot and up against the back of the trigger trigger spring now when you insert this piece it's advisable to push the trigger back that way the spring won't bind up and everything will be aligned so just screw that in not all the way but just a little way into the body just so there's enough really room really for the, the uh, handle to fit on 
Now next we're going to insert the needle. I prefer to leave the uh, the needle chucking nut off at this stage so there's there's no danger of you damaging the tip of the uh, needle against the back because you can't see with the nut on. So just push it gently forward you can feel it stop against the nozzle and then it's the uh, the chucking nut now it slides over the end of the needle and just nip that up finger tight just check the trigger make sure it works smoothly you can adjust the spring tension with this and now it's on with the handle so there you have it just check the trigger again and that's it. As a side note, um, Badger threads, hose threads are, are slightly different to most others. They do offer um, a quick release adapter, which is this one. This will connect to any quick release hose or you can get an adapter which goes from the badger thread to uh, a standard eighth BSP hose thread you can also get an adapter to fit on the bottom of this for the same quick release fitting that I've just, just shown you so I recommend getting one or the other if you do, in, if you do have um, other size hoses